you retire, do you want to hear this in your bank account? Or do you want to hear this in your bank account? How many want this one? So if you want this in your bank account, should you start at 25 or should you start at 55? If you start at 25, then if you have a financial problem, you're going to be able to take a little bit out of here and you'll still have some left, right? At least we're hoping that's true. <laughs> we're not quite sure in this environment, but we're hanging. We're hanging on to the hope here. So relationships are much the same way. Let's pretend that everyone you interface with at work has this little, um, uh, this little bank account that you're keeping for them. We're going to call this a relationship bank account. And every day when you come in, you're going to put a penny in there when you say, good morning. You're going to put a nickel in if you say, good morning, Michael. And you're going to put a, a dime in if you say, good morning, Michael, how are you? If you have some, a little bit of charisma here when you're talking to Michael, right? And then you're going to put a quarter in if you actually listen to Michael about what happened on the weekend and what he did and what his blog's like and da 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 da, da okay? Now you're going to be putting dollars in this relationship bank if you actually ask them their opinion and then you follow it or you implement something that they suggested. Because listening is the highest form of respect to an individual. Now, I got in a situation where I needed some of this relationship money really badly. I was in Chicago at the Palmer House giving a presentation. After the presentation was finished, I raced back to my room, threw everything in the suitcase, and jumped in a taxi, headed for the airport. Halfway to the airport, I realized that I had left my favorite black jacket in the room. It completed several outfits with sophistication, and I just had to have this back. So I called the front desk, and this nice man that had been really nice to me the whole time I was there said, I'll find it for you, and I'll send it to you. So we get the box comes. I knew what the was in the box. It was my black jacket, because it, the stamp said, from the Palmer House. But my three children didn't know what was in the box, and neither did my husband. Are they curious? Yeah, they all want to see what's in this box. So I open the box nonchalantly, pull out my black jacket, and out falls a men's pair of boxer shorts. <laughs> it's like, what is this? Is that nice man trying to get fresh with me? You know, or, or are they trying to cause a divorce here? <laughs> because these were not my husband's shorts. He doesn't wear red satin boxer shorts. <laughs> and you know, I'm shaking my bank here. Hmm. Is there enough in this relationship bank? <laughs> I had to make a withdrawal, right? <laughs> it worked. There was enough in here. He believed me when I said, I know nothing about these shorts. <laughs> Why did you get the red silk box? I have no clue. Yeah, the jacket was in there, but <laughs> yeah, the jacket was in there, but the red boxer shorts, I don't know where they came from. <laughs> there was no hanky panky going on in that hotel. 